Uh, okay. Changes to submarines, huh? What are they doing? Sorry, I just have links, uh, links blocked so that it's easier for me to keep bad links and stuff out of chat. Oh, we'll, we'll, uh, I can look at the other ones, but I wanted to see what they were doing to submarines first. If I'm going to look at, uh, look at this. Interesting. Look at that. Tier, high tier is not as powerful as they like. That's scary. If you're if you're talking about changes to a hyper annoying toxic class that only makes the game less fun and you say yeah low tier is performing within the norm but at high tier they begin to drop off. That's a little spooky, man. That's a spooky one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> that's not how I'd like to that to... I don't know if that's how I want that to start. Can you add a link for the new lines? I'll, I'll get to it. If after, you know, looking at this, I don't find it, then I'll uh, ask. German subs have effective homing torps. American subs enjoy powerful conventional torps. So no one's going to play the American subs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we just don't want you to play the American ones. Go for the German subs. Oh, never mind. Oh. Why? 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 So here's here's an analogy for you. All right. American subs are like if you took whatever shotgun class you want to take from a first-person shooter, right? You got a shotgun class. Super powerful up close, but not good at range, right? But what if you just gave that shotgun class the ability to go invisible and invulnerable until they're at the perfect distance to get maximum damage? Can barely see what it says. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm on a 4K monitor, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So, like, that hyper-powerful shotgun at close range, the guy using it gets to go invisible and is immune to damage until he's within perfect distance to make maximize that shotgun. Welcome, welcome to American Submarines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great start. What a great start. Okay, they reloaded in 40 seconds. Ascent time increased by two times. So they might not... Dude, they might not even need... They might not even need to surface. <laughs> they might not need to surface. That's crazy. Ping cooldown reduced. But why are you pinging if they're not... Wait, what? Oh, wait. They're not taking... I got this messed up. I uh, I misread this. I assumed they were giving German subs only homing torps and American submarines only conventional torps. They still have both. They still have both. Okay. Okay.
So the homing torps. Whatever the damage was on these is still the same, I guess. I forget what it was, but... That's, uh... Yeah. Shotgun homing torps. Feels good, man. Conventional torps are a little stealthier. A little more damage. Flood chance increased. Now, we gotta want... I wonder if this is, like, absolute or what? Because sometimes they do funny things. Sometimes they do really funny things, like, uh, let's go this one. Maybe this one will show it. Yeah. Yeah, so if I just zoom in so that you guys can see. So destroyer torps have flood chance in the like 400%. <laughs> right? So what does this mean? Right? Is this the same percentage scale as these torps? Because if so, then it's probably not going to flood very often. Right? It still won't flood very often. Because at the bottom here, we have Holland and Smalland. And they get floods, sure, but not all the time. They're not like Shima Torps, like up here. So that might be okay. Man, spooky stuff. So yeah. Oh, wait, but the... Why? Are they just giving them all shotguns again? They're all becoming shotguns. <laughs> the biggest problem everyone had with, well, one of the biggest problems with the original iteration <laughs> was that they could just walk up to you and one shot you for free. Because the arming time was so close to the ship. So they changed that a long time ago. And now what are they doing to buff him? Yeah, we'll just revert the change that everyone had a problem with in the first place. <laughs> oh. Like, come on, man. It's not fun to have someone who's invisible just show up right next to your ship and one shot you. That's not fun. Like, getting one shot is not a fun time. But at least when a battleship one shots me, I think, oh, I was flat broadside. Oh, that guy was lit or I probably knew he was there at some point. Also, the shelf light time, if they were invisible, was probably from really far away. So they had to lead it appropriately. They didn't get lock on two second one shots. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Come on. All right, so they're changing some super ships, too. Annapolis better reload. That's Pog. I'm excited about that. Super Des Moines? Actually, Super Des Moines now. Satsuma getting more nerfs. <laughs> you know what's really funny to me? In testing, Satsuma was getting buffs and Hanover was getting nerfs. Because it was PST and... Uh, and uh, it was ranked. So it was close range. And now that it's in random battles and everybody just camps long range, they're like, oh, Satsuma's a little too good. Oh, Hanover kind of sucks now? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it's so sad. It's It just seems like they don't really play the game. They're just looking at the spreadsheet 
Like, it's like they're only looking at data that comes into their computer and then they wait until there's enough data that there's uh, a clear pattern and there's not uh, too much noise in the data and then they make changes only based on that it's i wish like like i i, I could have told i could have told you this the instant these things went into I, the instant they were at random battles i could have told you satsuma's gonna be busted and no one's gonna want to play hanover like that was like uh, all right yamagir what's here what does it get down to for concealment with 7.1 now? That seems pretty good. Alternate fire mode, three salvos in a series. Delay between shots in a series one second? Reload between series of salvos 30 seconds? What? Is this like... 15 torpedoes, then another 15 torpedoes? Is this like 30 torpedoes within a second of one each, one another? 5.7-ish. Okay, so Shima still outspots it, but barely. Fair enough. Guns as well. Or wait, is this just for guns? Oh, this is probably just guns, right? It's just guns? Okay. Whew. I was about to say, man. I'm gonna get ourselves a six kilometer concealed Kitakami. Or Kit Yeah, Kitakami was the forty torp one, right? Okay, okay, that's not so bad then. Three salvos. Yeah, that's true. The HE is pretty brutal. That's interesting. It's still gonna get absolutely roasted by uh, the Russian one, wherever it is. Zorky. This alternative fire to mode will still destroy it. But yeah, against normal DDs, yeah. But maybe it's good that a super destroyer isn't just outgunned by most tier 10 gunboats. <laughs> you know, it, it probably doesn't feel like a very super ship then. But I don't know. I'm just not a fan of super stuff anyway. All right, that was this one. Test ships. This is what people wanted me to look at, right? Oh, good. AP bombs being more accurate. That's fun. AP bombs is such a bad idea, man. Carriers in general are a bad idea. You guys know this. I don't have to explain it. It's just ridiculous. AP bombs. It's like, oh, let me teleport my battleship two kilometers away from your broadside whenever I want to. Good luck. <laughs> uh. Oh, Atlantico. This is the secondary one, right? That's going to be in Dockyard, right? That'll be interesting to get. Apparently the guns are too good. Italian DDs. I'm not particularly interested in Italian DDs. Is there anything here you guys want me to look at? To me, they look really bad so far. Like, they don't look like they'll be that much fun. Like, close-range guns, close-range torps. Like, hello? Hello? It's not 2016. People aren't pushing in. <laughs> you know, people don't push in anymore. I 
I saw this. Camera improvements. I'm very excited for this. I always have felt like the camera's a little bit too high. Because when I'm looking out over the horizon, my most of my ship is like cut off by the camera, so I can't even see it. Oh, here we go. Is this what you guys are looking at? Methods of distribution? Battleship. I'm going to mispronounce this. Iwa Iwami? Tier 9. So it's the Heisen, but... 8 gun, 10 guns? 8 guns? Close quarters with secondaries. <laughs> Good armor penetration and torpedoes. Interesting. Shima? What? Shima torps on a tier 9 battleship? You don't want Hanover to uh, have every idiot playing it? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Snap? Thank you for the 15 months. Did that not go through? Or did it go through and I just didn't hear it? <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh, let's copy this. I don't have my alerts on this scene. <laughs> uh, paste. All right, let's go again. Snap there we go. Just resubscribed for 15 months. Thank you for the 15 months, Snap. Very kind. How's it going, man? It's good to see you. What's with dockyard ships? Either they're trash from the start, or they get pretty interesting, and then they're nerfed to pieces. Because <laughs> they they see them as free ships, or things you don't really have to pay too much for. So they don't want to give away good stuff. I think. So is that a secondary turret back there? Like that right in there. Or is that a main gun? So this either has eight or it has 10 main guns because there are two in each turret, four or five main turrets. But it's got Harugamo turrets. So you'll pen 30 with these secondaries. And then it has what, Mogami 155s? So that'll pen. That pen 30 as well? What's the best DD Hunter? Ragnar or Smalland? Probably. I've been doing rank today, so I don't know if I'll play tier 10. It's just like Heisen with that. I haven't looked at Heisen in so long. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good point, thank you. Marceau radio location, full reload. True. That's pretty good. I just like the uh, stealthy radar plus heal plus insane damage plus situational speed boost that lets you dodge a lot of stuff. But yeah, Marceau is really good too. For sure. Oh, <laughs> bro, dude, I got some questions, man. This is a close quarters combat battleship. Enjoys powerful main armament, secondaries, good armor pen, 
and uh, torpedoes, similar to Shimakaze. To compensate for this, the ship receives 32 millimeter plating at a vulnerable citadel. Yes. A close quarters combat battleship with a vulnerable citadel and 32 mil plating. That sounds like exactly the combination that allows me to brawl. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. A squishy brawler. Oh, I don't know, man. It's for co-op weebs. Yeah, that's probably true. I don't know. It's just so, like... It's so extreme, man. It's like it's just so extreme. It's like we want this to be a close quarters brawling ship. Oh, but we gave it nothing to do that. But it's got offensive power at close quarters. But you're never going to get into range cuz you'll die. That'll be for Cole. Okay. I have seen this one. I saw the pictures. 305s is questionable. Yeah, it is for steel. You're right. Why would I want to play this over the German battle cruisers? Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Sixteen three oh fives, man. I don't know. Ships anti air defenses based on systems develop developed in the nineteen forties. So it'll just be bad. Cause German AA just sucks. Small caliber, high fire rate, good accuracy. How much you want to bet good accuracy is like dreadful <laughs> see it's better than Colombo accuracy therefore it's good I don't know man I don't think this is gonna be a good ship the pro it, it has the is it has the problem every German battleship has you got tons of armor all, along your belt and the biggest tumor of a superstructure that everyone can do damage to It's battlecruiser formula? Damn, okay. That might actually be decent. But still, Odin guns? Odin guns suck. But yeah, this is just going to get farmed out, man. Especially because I think it has less HP. Less HP? Rip DDs though, yeah, we'll see. High explosive with good fire chance. Oh, that'll get nerfed. 27% fire chance on 16 battlecruiser accurate guns. Yeah, that's gonna get nerfed. <laughs> uh, I don't think that one's ever coming up like that. I hate it, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that either. All right, was there anything else? I think that was it. I think I've seen all these other ones. 70 mil icebreakers, so you should be good against BBs. Well, the problem... In theory, I agree. I agree in theory. Right? But the problem... Every single German battleship has this problem. Except Odin. But Odin has other problems. They they just gave them way too much superstructure. Like it's just so much superstructure. And you know, if if superstructure saturated like the extremities of a Marceau and a Kleber, so that you couldn't kill this ship very easily only through its superstructure, 
then yeah, I would agree. I'd be like, yeah, man, these are going to be tanky, brawly ships. And that makes sense because they have junk dispersion, bad main guns for long range, but they're scary up close. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But this, it's just so easy to kill these things through the superstructure. It's just so easy. It's more on the second page. All right. Give it a quick look. But that, that's my problem with all German battleships. They have great armor, great utility, great brawling power. Assuming you ignore the giant tumor of a superstructure. Probably this one. Edgar. I like to see the Citadel size. Yeah, so it's a minnow. Super minnow. Already looked at that. Oh, you get the characteristics, though. Yeah, super minnow. That'll probably be a decent ship. Yeah, and it doesn't have HP either, man. Is the concealment at least a lot better? Seventeen six, Not much, if it is. Not as trash as Minnow Citadel. Too bad. I love the design of Minotaur. Unreal damage output. Like, unbelievable damage output when you put it in the right spot. But actually vulnerable when it gets caught out. Such great game design, man. If the Minotaur player outplays you, yeah. You're taking huge damage, and you probably deserve it. But if you catch the Minotaur player out, he's taking huge damage, and he probably deserved it. That's such a great way to balance a game, man. It's so easy to learn then, too. You know? It's so easy to learn when it's like, oh, this is exactly what I did wrong. This is why I died. I'm going to learn to not do that next time. The rest of the game is, unfortunately, just full of random chance stuff where you're never really sure what you're doing right or wrong. Because 80% of the time you go broadside in a Smolensk, you take no damage. And then the other 20% of the time you're devstruck. <laughs> it's like, well, hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. What do I learn from that? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I think I've seen all this stuff in the past still. French cruisers yet? I think I looked at these. Not on stream. I think I saw them though. They look super dumb. It's just, it's uh, it's gimmicks to get you to play them, to differentiate them from everything else that's already in the game. That's what most, uh, basically anything new to the game from like now on, it's all going to be like that. Hyper gimmicky, it'll either be overpowered or junk and no in between. 